Ah, fuck, my fucking fu Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day, good time of day. It is me, Nihilistic Nerd, and today we're going to talk about uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, again. You know, if you're not aware, Cyberpunk 2077 released in an absolutely abysmal state, which really, like, kind of pissed me off personally. Like, I'm, uh, I'm quite upset about this. It, it, it. It's maddening, to be 100% honest. I am uh, very upset by this. I feel like they spent so much time... <clears throat> Sorry, I feel like they spent so much time advertising this game that instead of actually working on the game, they're just, like, you know, showing off Keanu Reeves. And while, I'll be honest, having Keanu Reeves in the game, I'd be proud of that, too. I'd center the whole game around Keanu Reeves if I was CD Projekt Red. But the, the game kind of is ass. Like... It's not a terrible game, but it's not what it could have been. It's not what it def it's ne definitely not what it should have been. It released in a buggy state and it got just like slammed by everyone that actually played it. Um everyone that wasn't the game journalists. <laughs> so um you know, if if you've been keeping up with it on other channels that do uh, this stuff a lot better than I do, um there's been lawsuits. There's like, you know, the I, I don't remember if they're Finnish. Is it a Finnish studio or Norwegian? I, I'm probably totally off, but whatever country CD Projekt Red is in, um, they're looking at, like, what's going on here, the consumer board or whatever. I don't know what they're called. It's law crap. It's also outside of America, and I'm an American douchebag, so I don't know shit about stuff outside of America. So... They recently, I believe yesterday, like, made a huge announcement about, uh, what was going on with C Cyberpunk 2077, and the changes they're gonna make, and it's eerily familiar with the crap you saw from, like, Destiny and, like, you know, Anthem, that stuff that Bungie and Origin, Origin, EA, or Bioware, Bioware in that case, would release and be like, yeah, we realized we screwed up. We're going to fix it. And it's like, bro, I've seen this before. I would love to believe you. I would love to believe you, but I unfortunately do not. They kind of really shit the bed with this one, not going to lie. Now, there are some people out there that really enjoy Cyberpunk 2077. I enjoy it. It's it, it's overwhelmingly mediocre. Like it it underperformed to what I want and I would say that my hype my hype bar was, you know, not that high. Like I wasn't thinking this was going to be the greatest game of all time and in fact it's you know, I would say that of the games releasing in 20 2077 2020 that Final Fantasy 7 remake was the best game of 2020. Um, which Final Fantasy VII Remake was also somewhat disappointing, but I'm also uh, OG Final Fantasy VII fanboy, so, you know, if I'm disappointed by it, that's it's just, it just happens when you're a fanboy of old school shit. So, yeah, that's it. So, Cyberpunk 2077, they've apologized for fucking up their game, they've uh, pretty much said, yeah, we're gonna fix it, and now we'll see if they actually do that. I don't know about you guys, but my hopes are kind of just not even there. I, I just, I, I don't know what to say. There's just, yeah, fix the fucking game. Alright, so that's it, um... Yeah, not not the Story of Seasons or Streets of Rage reviews like I had promised, but I kind of got bone in the butt, if you know what I'm saying. So, hopefully we'll get that Story of Seasons review out by the end of uh, this month, the end of uh, January. So, yeah, that that's it. Video over. Subscribe, I guess, or follow me on my social medias. Those links will be down in the, in the description below. Do it. Or don't. I don't fucking care.